Hi, um, I have three reasons for making this vlog today. The first one is to once again demonstrate uh, that I am having problems with my medication causing me to have uh, an accent and um, I hope that that doesn't make the next two points uh, uh, of this video too hard to understand. Uh, one of the points is to thank everybody who has donated items, uh, time, energy, and money to the cause of helping me with my surgery. Bales, if you guys want to continue to donate, I'm not going to say no. There just won't be a rifle involved after today. Um, and on that note, do I have a review that I need to do that I've promised to do. And what better time to do it than the last day of my raffle? Uh, these items are included in the ruffle and I think um, I think they're great <laughs> and I've, I've used all three of them and uh, so and I have nothing but good things to say about them actually um, I was I was thinking I might have some reservations about one or two but I don't I think I think they're great uh, the first one that I'm going to show is uh, from uh, Cobra Braid it is the it's the the other paracord bracelet that's in the uh, that's in the raffle. The first one, of course, is the one that my boyfriend uh, is making. He's got twenty of these lined up, just ready, you know, to be sent out. Um, but the cobra braid, there's only one. <laughs> there can be only one, uh, and it has a green awareness ribbon uh, woven into it. It is it is a single cobra braid using flat paracord. Uh, it is very well reinforced at the ends, as you can see. It has a Velcro closure that is adjustable. Now I'm going to put this on um, so that you guys can see. Um, you just you can slide it on, or you can take you can take this, the whole thing out if you need to. If you're if you're not like me and don't have freaking veal for hands, you know, um, then and then you just adjust it and close it. Now the uh, this bracelet happens to fit me perfectly uh, at its, you know, at its resting point. I guess you would call that uh, its display resting point, point. Um, and I like it a lot. It's very comfortable. Um, the flatness uh, of the um, of the Velcro closure actually means that I can type very comfortably while still wearing this. Uh, I do have to take it off uh, if I'm going to do anything for an extended period, though. But that's just me. Uh, when I'm just doing everyday things, I forget that it's there. It's very lightweight, um, extremely comfortable. The the I don't know if you can see how flat that bracer is right there, and the bracer here. Um, they're they're very flat, so they're very comfortable. Um, so we've got that bracelet, and this is in the raffle. Uh, it's in the five dollar category. Um, so you donate five dollars, you have a chance to win this. Uh, and there's a keychain as well. I was not sent a keychain. How does one review a keychain? If it successfully holds your keys, I think it's a pretty good thing. And if it's made anything like this, then it's a good keychain. So I don't have uh, I don't have any doubts that it's a good product. So that that's the end of, of the uh, Cobra Braid bracelet. You can find them at cobrabraid.com. Um, they actually also have. Uh, uh, Facebook page. Uh, just look up Cobra Braid on Facebook, and you can, um, you know, you can front, you can like the page and and whatnot. And uh, it's a good product. I, I can honestly say that if my boyfriend didn't get into the habit of making these bracelets uh, out of boredom, then I would have, I, I would have uh, actually looked at getting one of these myself. Um, it's very, it's very well made. I like it a lot. So. Um, I'm, I'm using the card that came with it for reference. You know, they say they've got the little Facebook emblem. Eh, there it is, the Facebook emblem. So um, you can go to the site for that. Now, uh, the next two items uh, are made from 50 caliber bullet casings. Uh, these are real bullet casings that have been used and discarded and they've been repurposed. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. That happens a lot more these days. Um, I actually. Oh, oh, one more thing. Um, I have a Cobra Braid 10% off uh, coupon code. Um, I've covered most of it so you can't see it in the video. But um, I'm going to give it away to one random person uh, because I can't afford to buy you know, anything from the site and I've got 
I've got a bracelet anyway. I've got the one I want. So pff, I don't need it. So if um, if if you want the ten percent off, just you know, if you donate, I will pick somebody at random, and I will give them the ten percent off. Um, it it's not going to be in a tier. This is not a part of the raffle. Um, in fact, this will this will go through the end of August. Uh, if you if you donate through the end of August, I'll I'll send you the uh, the coupon code. Uh, if you're one of the donators, um, and I'll announce who it is on my blog, you know, so that everybody knows when it's over. Um, and uh, I'm I'm also actually doing the same thing with the next two items. Now, like I said, they're spent 50 caliber uh, bullet casings. Now, what I just did was I opened a opened a bottle that holds one of them, and it's a pin. And the reason it has a a little, you know, tube, is because it does not have a lid. But uh, this is a big <laughs> pin. Uh, it's and it writes. It actually writes very well. It's got a, a ballpoint. It is black. Um, I do. I believe they're refillable. Um, it, they take. I'm, I'm fairly certain they take uh, standard um, rollerball uh, refills. Uh, if I'm incorrect in that, uh, somebody please correct me. But I. Th I think I'm. I think I'm correct on that one. Uh, and this is brass. Uh, there's. There's. Uh, this is a silver colored. Um, I want to say. I don't know what kind of metal that is, uh, but it's it's silver colored and it's black ink and it's it's heavy, but it's a well balanced heavy if that makes sense. And so I'm just gonna write a little message for you, and uh, there you go. Uh, it writes um, fairly well. Uh, there, I don't know if you if you can see that. I'm actually I am gonna point this out. Um, you see the double H and the double A. Um, the the roller bowl uh, did stutter, uh, so it, it's a standard pin, you know. But it's in a fifty caliber casing. I mean, come on. So uh, a, as a pin, as a novelty pin, uh, this this serves its purpose very well. Um, it, it it actually does write. It's not just uh, something you sit on your desk to you know to to brag and freak people out and whatnot. It it actually does work. Um, it works well. It does. It does write smoothly. Uh, aside from that, hip that one hiccup. Uh, that's actually the first time it's hiccuped on me since I got it. Um, I have. I've written things in my in my my calendar and and uh, little like grocery lists and stuff. I've actually used this uh, quite a bit since uh, since it was sent to me a few days ago because uh, I wanted to to actually give an honest review, a real world application review, rather than just a. Um, uh, you know, oh, let me try this on camera for the very first time and, and, and give you that. So, um, um, that's, that's the pin. And the second thing, uh, it looks like a, just a 50 cal bullet with the, you know, your, uh, bronze colored bullet, uh, at the end, but it's actually a bottle opener, which is pretty neat. I think it's, um, it's hollow. Um, it's got, it's got a smooth, uh, like this down here is, is quite sharp, but it's it's actually got a smooth bit up here, and um, I think honestly, if you have like a hook system for like I do for hanging hanging your bottle openers, um, it would it would do well to to hang on, you know this uh, to hang on a hook like that, and it wouldn't affect the uh, the the use of it because well all that is down here, so maybe it's just me, but I'm gonna demonstrate it. Um, this is not alcohol, <laughs> just to let you know. This is a, a, a sugar-free, gluten-free root beer. It's one of the only beverages that I can enjoy that's not, you know, water, lemon water, or tea or something. So, um, essentially it just, it fits right under the lid. This is actually a screw-off cap, but most screw-off caps uh, are pain in the ass, so I use, you know, bottle openers for them anyway. But the teeth grip right underneath the edge of the lid. And you very simply just pop it off. Now, the thing that I like about this is, look at that, the cap is still flat. It doesn't ruin the cap. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't bend the bottle caps all to hell when it takes them off. Uh, that actually, and I think that's why this is flattened the way that it is, so that it doesn't cause, uh, you know, damage to it. Because if a bottle cap comes off the wrong way, you can actually hurt yourself with it. I've done it before. Um, 
anyway I can highly recommend this this product I thought it's novelty it, it's gonna work but you know it's it's gonna be a novelty item and I honestly thought that when I got it I was like this is really you know it's really neat like look I can grip it you know but it actually works it works very well and the bottle cap doesn't go flying across the room it, it just it just kind of fell off and uh, that also makes keeping up with your trash easier which uh, when you me is something that's you know very good so I've got these you know these two items and um, again uh, I also have a 10% off 10% uh, off code for the lucky strike um, realbullet.com I don't believe they have a Facebook page yet well you go to realbullet.com and uh, you can get either one of those items so um, I do have 10% off and through the end of August if you donate I'm gonna pick a random person to receive 10% off their purchase at Lucky Shot uh, at um, the realbullet.com website. So, there's some incentive, um, I guess, maybe a little bit, if you like the items. Um, I love the items, frankly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep them as long as, as, long as they work. Uh, they're very nice. They're, very, they're high quality. Uh, they're made of 50 caliber bullet casing, so you know they're tough. They're going to they're gonna last a long time. Um, replacing the ink in the pen is probably going to be my biggest issue. On, on either of those and as far as the the cobra braid bracelet goes um you know the care the care instructions are just basically you know wash with cold water and rinse thoroughly and just let sit to dry because otherwise it shrinks don't ever throw these in the dryer by the way part of the way that you seal these is by burning the ends and so if you if these got caught in a hot dryer it's bad news and also there this is rubber uh on the uh uh, on the velcro so yeah uh, if you do end up with one of these just be careful with it uh, as far as uh, care goes it's gonna get dirty uh, just use common sense when you're taking care of it and the same goes for these two just use common sense when taking care of it don't leave them sitting in water um, you know uh, if if you have to yeah clean them use a use a damp cloth and dry them immediately afterward things like that uh, it's very common sense um, but that's that's my review and uh, again uh, thank you to everybody who's donated and uh, who, who's kept me in their thoughts and uh, whatnot over the past um, several months. Um, I do have my consult in uh, nine days, eight days, eight days from today I have my surgery consult. I'm going to be 30 in nine days, that'll be fun, and uh, sometime after that I have my surgery. So as soon as I get more details I will uh, update you. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video, and um, I hope that you will take the items into consideration when you donate either today or in the future. And uh, if you choose not to donate, um, but you'd like to, you know, spend your money, then um, those items I can't, I can't say I'd blame you for spending your money on them. Honestly, they're, they're really neat. I like them so. Uh, that's, that's all that's all I've got to say uh, but again thank you I, I honestly went into this not expecting uh, the response that I did get and uh, for people to feel that I'm I'm worth uh, the the money and the uh, the, the consideration uh, that, that I've gotten has has been humbling and, and very very kind so um I'll, I'll end with that and um, if uh, Hopefully in the next week my accent will be gone because I will no longer be taking the uh, metronizal, which is what causes it, which is what caused it last time, uh, as I as I discovered. So um, that that that'll be good. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, and I hope everybody has a wonderful week. And I will uh, talk to most of you soon. Thank you very much, and bye.